final guess. Um, I don't have a formal um, introduction for it because I can't imagine that anyone watching doesn't know who these two people are. Um, Tamisha Harris, um, who of course, uh, I think a lot of people saw first in um, uh, varieties at the venue and then um, uh, various um, burlesque type shows and things who really came into her own and eventually became the star of Josephine, um, the show, the one woman show about Josephine Baker, which has literally taken the entire globe by storm. Yes. Uh, Todd Kimber, I believe, wrote the book and plays the accompaniment tracks, and Michael Marinaccio, who is Tamisha's life partner, uh, is the producer and the marketing uh, director of the thing and the road manager. And um, anyway, between the two of them, they have garnered uh, major awards at just about every festival that they've entered and rave reviews and sold out houses everywhere from Europe to Australia, Canada, and America. So let's uh, please, uh, before we bring them on, um, let's show, and this has a date on it in a, in a theater, but this is a, a commercial that they run for the show as it travels around the world. And just in case you haven't seen Josephine, this will give you just a little taste of it, Rich. The only person that they don't strip search is the exhibitionist. fantastic it was just so vibrant and colorful and energetic yeah. and really emotional really funny she's just absolutely brilliant I, I, I could watch that every night Josephine here they are the power couple of Orlando ladies and gentlemen Michael Marinacci and Tamisha Harris, hi. Hi, guys. How are Hello. You? Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Can I take one? I've been blabbing. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, that was unexpected. <laughs> but um, if I have started off everyone, every call, with, how is how is it um, in quarantine or shelter in place, as you will, with the two of you? Going well? Yeah, I think so. Good. I don't know. How do you feel, Tamisha? <laughs> wait, 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 that was a different... Are you sure? <laughs> it actually yeah. has been going very well. Uh, I have a nice little place outside that I can escape to, and it's been wonderful. Yeah, we converted the garage uh, last year into the Tamisha shed. Uh, so she has <laughs> her costumes and a little loft. Uh, and she can sleep out there when I'm driving her crazy or, uh, you know, just spend time. She has mirrors wall for dancing. And mirrors and she's got She's creating a garden out there. It's pretty great. I mean, honestly, we're, we're used to having longer stretches of just kind of downtime because we spend about four months on the road out of the year. Uh, so then we'll get home and we'll have a couple of months. It's usually a lot busier. So this has been great for us to be able to get things done around the house, you know? So when she goes into the, to the Tamisha, do you lock the back door or what? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. And I have the spare key inside, so. <laughs> well, um, I think everybody's aware that Michael uh, was uh, steering the Orlando Fringe Festival for quite some time, and um, his role at Fringe changed, I think primarily to accommodate your touring schedule. Tell us what it's been like uh, touring and what's your, what's like, give us a couple of the highlights of. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we didn't really expect the success that we've had with Josephine. Uh, so when we started writing it in 2015, we just, you know, thought it'd be a cool thing to do and be able to get out on the road. But uh, it really kind of took over our lives. And, and um, so being on the road has been amazing we've seen some of the most incredible places on earth we yeah. just got back right before uh the national emergency was called we got back just in time from australia uh oh. where we uh did adelaide the adelaide for the first time and uh 
won uh, several awards, uh, Critics' Choice, a Critics' Circle Award. Critics' Circle, um, We Circle. extended the run, sold out the show. I mean, it was really, really just a big, warm embrace being there. And then we got to go to these really places. We you know, like spent a couple of days in a place on the beach and winery and cliff sides. And, kangaroos. And, yeah, and, petting kangaroos and, 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 and koalas. Koalas and kookaburras and <laughs> all that reptile shit. Saw the biggest spider. <laughs> <laughs> biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. And duh, duh, huntsman spider. spider. Oh, his first day, she was terrified. Terrified. What's the biggest house you played, Misha? Say it again. What's the largest audience you played in front of? In shows? Oh, gosh. Plaza. The, probably the plaza here in Orlando. And then... Mm. In uh, Adelaide, we went outside and did a smaller fringe called the Sterling Fringe and actually performed in our first tent that was probably only supposed to be 100 people, maybe. I don't know. May I think the tent probably was meant to fit 60, 60. and they fit 150. I they swear I've never all seen these them. Old people they all literally <laughs> shoved old folks in there. It was people were <laughs> exiting through the back of the tent where the, my entrance was. They had an air. It was, it was one of the best experiences ever for anyone. Oh, it, that sounds like an amazing experience. Um, so you've got a couple of videos for us. Do uh, which one are we seeing first? The uh, my heart belongs to Danny. Yes. Can you set that up for us? I and they're adorable, by the way. We had a tech yesterday, and it's this is just. Fantastic. Yes, I've actually, uh, they, uh, Tamisha originally sent us um, perf in performance videos, and we were like, people really want to see you in your house. We, you, we, you, you, they want to know. In your Tamisha. They want to know you're working for them, trying to pull them into this thing. So, um, so last night in the tech rehearsal, we were like, well, this is okay, but would you mind maybe tomorrow getting up in the morning? <laughs> Recording to some doing some homework and doing some. And so and she did. So set this one up first to me. And this is her in the morning, just when you start. I woke video. up like this. Yeah, I woke up like just that. Like it. Uh, so uh, I just decided to show you all what the Tami shed looked like and what it kind of goes on, what's been going on in there, and sing a little bit. And um, yeah, well, it's just having some fun. <laughs> Oh my goodness, excuse me, you caught me off guard. I was just fixing my, my little summer frock. <laughs> ah, you know, uh, and I thought I would sing a song coming to you live from a place called the Tami Shed, whatever day this is in 2020. Is it almost over? No, okay, just checking. And I also thought I would dedicate that song to one of the main reasons why I have a Tami Shed, since it's always so curious and people are wondering. <laughs> Nobody's wondering. While tearing off the game of golf, I may make a play for the caddy, but when I do, I don't follow through, cause my heart belongs to daddy. If I invite a boy some night to dine on some fine fin and hattie, I just adore his asking for more, cause my heart belongs to daddy. Yes, my heart belongs to daddy. I simply couldn't be bad. Oh, my heart belongs to daddy. Da, 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 da. I want to warn you, laddie. I think you're perfectly swell. But my heart belongs to daddy. Cause my daddy treats me. So well. Yes, oh my heart belongs to daddy. I simply couldn't be bad. Oh my heart belongs to daddy. Da 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 da. I want to warn you, laddie. I think you're perfectly. 
really swell but my heart belongs to daddy cause he treats me so nice yes he treats me so nice cause my heart belongs to Yeah. And that was at seven o'clock this morning, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> First just cup enough. of coffee. Now, Rich, just Ron, imagine, what what did you tell us, stuff. Rich Ron, was your favorite part, Rich? Oh, um, the the spin, the uh, the spin around the uh, <clears throat> with the chair, which you spin around. The production value is unbelievable, and it all came together. In the morning. Did we mention that it just happened this morning? Yeah. <laughs> I think we might have covered that. <laughs> um, um, most of that stuff that's in the Tamee Shed was actually in this room for a long time. Yeah, I finally got my office back. Which, oh, oh, there's the reason. Uh, I remember <laughs> this thing leaving, got leaving the kitchen <laughs> involved walking through a sheet of boas and fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that yeah. also moved to the Timmy shed? Yeah. The boas? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I took out okay. everything I could. <laughs> well, the next number is one of the loveliest um, numbers from Josephine. Why don't you set that up for us? It is my favorite. So uh, when Todd and I were first working on the, the, the kind of structure of the show and, and creating the piece, uh, we knew we needed an 11 o'clock number. And this number is actually a song that Josephine sang. Uh, there's a great recording. You can find it on YouTube. Just look up Josephine Baker singing this song. Uh, and her version is so far out there. I don't even know how the, the band follows her. She just does her own thing with the show. Mm -hmm. So our version was kind of taking that essence and then combining it with um, kind of a little more, uh, uh, made it make a little more mu sense musically uh, and fit Tamisha's voice really well. And it just Todd's arrangement, her singing it, and the timing in the show, it just makes it a really knockout number. And the title of the song is? Times They Are A-Changing by Bob Dylan. And this is gorgeous, direct from the Tamisha, Rich. <laughs> I like how that wasn't the right song. Come gather round, people, wherever you roam, and admit that the waters around us have grown, and accept it that soon we'll be drenched to the bone. I hope that time to you is worth saving so you'd better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone for the times they are a changing come writers and critics who prophesize with a pin Please keep your eyes wide The chance won't come again And don't speak too soon For that wheel still spins And there's no telling who that it's naming for the loser now will be the later to win for the times they are changing come senators and congressmen and women please heed our calls don't stand in the doorways, don't put up your walls for those who get hurt 
will be the pulse of us all. There's a battle outside, and I know that it's a raging. Oh, it'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls for the times they are a change. Come mothers and fathers throughout our beautiful lands And don't you criticize what you don't, what you don't understand For your sons and your daughters are beyond your command Your old hateful road is rapidly aging. Oh, so please get out of our new one if you can lend a hand. For the times they need. A change Just beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh. And to that, I think we should have a shot. Oh. Uh, that's good. We are drinking Maker's Mark here. Just to oh. advertise our, our sponsor, our Bro, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what you got? We have a lot of money. Actually. I got deep any grapefruit, gravy, red, fuck, whatever. I have vodka. I have a lite. Lite. And Camisa and Michael. To the survival Cheers. of the human race. The human race. <laughs> yeah. So, final question, Sammy. Tiger King. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, I unfortunately have seen it twice. <laughs> unfortunately? <laughs> oh, I watched it again with Michael. Well, I binge watched it one night. I was just like, oh my God, this is just too much. And I Before came in. Before all the fuss, like it was, the, it just popped up in Netflix. So I was like, all right. Yeah. Then the, all the hullabaloo. And then Tamisha's like, I have to watch it. And so I ended up watching most of the. I kept again, coming in and out when he binge watched it. Like, oh, that's a funny part. Ooh, this is going to be a hot ass mess. Oh my God, what the hell's going on? I mean, every episode, you're like, well, wow, this is crazy. I can't like, get anything. Oh, I got to watch this and whole it does. thing. And and it does. Boom, everything happened. Did she do it? Do you think she killed her husband? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Silent but deadly. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I, I gotta say, definitely yes. I mean, uh, it's just too perfect that she fed him to the tigers. She was gonna lose her tigers. I can <laughs> Tigers I, or. I also. <laughs> spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! However many guests I ask. Everyone zero said, for, yeah. for, for yeses, so. It's just like, come on. I also think that Joe Exotic sang his own song, so I'm probably not a good guy to trust. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, oh. oh he didn't. No, yeah. he didn't no. sing his own song. No, no. The whole him. time I was saying to Kenny, that is not him singing. <laughs> that is not him singing. And then went online and it wasn't. Yeah. Um, any, um, you guys have the final word today as we leave. Do you have anything you'd like to tell everyone? I know you do. You know, don't give up hope. Don't give up understanding. Don't give up each other. This, this, this form, don't give up yet. Don't give up on each other yet. Continue to wash your hands and practice social distancing on the outside, but conserve water. That's a whole <laughs> other issue. Then, <laughs> then, uh, we'll save you for next year's pandemic. <laughs> My, my advice is to find the silver lining. You know, take this time. If you've got time off, then use it to do something that you want to do. Learn a language or do something that you want to do for you. Uh, so take that time and don't feel guilty about just sitting around binge watching TV all day if that's what you need to do, too. Better yourselves. Ourselves. Well, one thing I love about this show is each each week I ask that of everyone. And um, 
we'll have some serious conversations sometimes with like Michael at the top of the show and but then there's all humor always comes back and there's always right. is that silver lining and I think that's just us as artists as human beings and uh, I mean if we don't have that silver lining I don't know <laughs> we do and there is a silver lining so you're thank right you. yeah well we're more used to this than uh than most of the rest of the world I mean artists are used to having <laughs> periods of no work and no money coming in and figuring out what to do with yourself and your life. Uh, so I feel like you're more prepared a lot. I realize that it is thrown at us. I realize that this is probably the first time that as an independent artist and a performance artist, this is the first time I've ever stopped and had nothing to do. Yeah. I had to force myself to make the projects in the shed and all these things, but that was a great decompress for my post-show decompression after Australia. That was a great way for me to decompress and clear out a lot of things in my life. For sure. So. Well, I want to contact Mike so I can say that sentence next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't thank you enough for being with us. We love